In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how you can add CG objects onto a two-dimensional video or footage or image. Uh, this will also add effects such as ray tracing and shadowing to make the object you add look more like it's at home in the environment it's in. To start with, you'll need basic 3D Studio Max knowledge and you'll also need to create a plane, as I've done here. Once you've done this, simply rotate the viewport and you have that part finished. Next, you'll also need to add a background image. You can do this by going into Views, Viewport Background, Files, and select your background. As you can see, I've already done so here. But if you're looking to download this image, you can get it at xbox-fusion.net. Also, you'll need to have match rendering output ticked, and then close that box. You'll also need to render this background image as an environment. So under rendering, choose environment. This will normally be none if it's not loaded. So then you'll choose bitmap, and then landscape, and the same image. I finished this off already, just for the purposes of saving time. So, next you'll need to add an object. I've decided to use a vehicle in this, uh, Ferrari Enzo, originally from PGR3. So choose File, Import, Enzo.3DS, Open. OK, and No. Next you'll need to merge this vehicle into one object. So under Group, choose Group, select OK and position the car in the direct center of your plane. Next, readjust your viewport and align it so that the vehicle rests directly on top of your scenery. When you've achieved this, you'll need to apply some material to that plane. But for the most part, your scene is now complete. So, let's just increase the size of the plane slightly. Select it, strike the M key on your keyboard, and this will bring up the material editor. Next, make sure material number one is selected. Click standard, and change it to mat forward slash forward slash shadow. Choose OK. Now we have our shadow material created. So choose apply to object. You'll notice the plane does turn grayish cream color. This is pretty much telling us that we've got the shadow created. Only a few more things we need to do here. Select the vehicle. Enter move mode. And raise it just a little bit higher so that the bottom is just about touching the plane. And now we'll need to start ray tracing. So under Create, go into the Light section, choose a skylight, and place it in the direction the light is emanating from in your scene. Next, under Render, select Cast Shadows, raise per sample, reduce to 50, and now try rendering. You'll notice it does take a while to render. As you can see now, it has ray traced the car into your scene and it has added the shadow below it. You can get more in depth than that. You can add several other lighting effects, including colored lighting depending on your scene. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to add another light source. Well, texture to be more precise. So, under sky color, under map, 
none. Choose bitmap. Okay. And select this material. I've prepared this already. Again, you can get it from xbox infusionnet Now you've got your scene prepared. What will happen now when you render is it will render a light map onto that vehicle. It will map where certain light should be hitting the vehicle and then display it there. By creating your own specified light maps you can define how your scene will look. For instance, here the vehicle is darkened as it's in a la an area of darkness. Although maybe not quite to that extent. As you can see now, it has certainly seemed much more realistic. There are other materials you can also add to the car to increase its effect, such as chrome materials. However, I'll deal with that in a later tutorial. And that is just about it. I hope this tutorial was of some help to someone. Thank you for your time.